Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Market Watch. I'm Hilary and it's my pleasure to share with you our views on the market developments. Alright, moving into 2011, we continue to favour equities and commodities. Um, we believe that the low interest rates environment and the high liquidity generated by QE2 will support risk appetite and set prices. Um, specifically with regards to commodities, um, QE2 can be viewed as a dollar devaluation policy and commodities will be priced higher with a declining purchasing power of the US dollar. I mean, in addition to that, um, inflationary fears will lead many to move into the physical asset space, um, causing commodity prices to move higher as well. Um, however, it's important to note that commodity prices, and especially industrial metals, have been supported by the growth in emerging markets. Hence, any tightening announcements from these economies will cause this asset class to be negatively affected. Okay, with regards to equities, um, we continue to like Asia Pac X Japan on the back of robust economic growth prospects and stronger currencies. Okay, however, we have underweight Indian equities as valuations are high. We are also positive on US equities as we believe that growth will surprise to the upside. Japan and Europe are the areas that we have underweight. Japanese equities are likely to be adversely affected by the sluggish growth and the deflationary environment domestically. Okay, meanwhile, the ongoing uncertainty brought on by the Europe debt rules made the outlook of European equities gloomy. Lastly, in the fixed income space, we view the corporate bond sector and especially Asian corporate bonds more positively. This is so as they have healthier, i.e. cash rate balance sheets. We are cautious of global sovereign debts um, as headwinds may be sparked by the Europe debt rules in the short term. That's all we have for you today. Tune in next week for more market commentary.